Now, as far as the Mendy versus Muse Efner's Focus games go, I actually do like the Mendy game better. They've had more timed workout glitches in the software when it comes to using continuous Efner's to increase the blood flow to your frontal lobe in the form of focus training. Mendy's added new skins. Their app looks really well put together and hardly ever causes me issues. In contrast, Muse Athena just released their Flying Owl game, which to be honest, sometimes crashes on me and I've had clients talk about it crashing on them as well. So there are some kinks that Muse needs to work out of the app to get that focus game performing better. Also, I will note that Mendy continues to sell their devices without a monthly subscription, whereas Muse has a monthly subscription. The first year is included in the price of the device, and then you have to continue paying a subscription afterwards. And the Muse Athena is about 30% more expensive than Mendy at the time of this recording. But Muse honestly has a lot more to offer than the FNIR's Focus Training Game. They have EEG brain health measurements like Peak Alpha and Alpha Recharge. They're introducing a new AI brain health coach that I just looked at today and looks really awesome to play around with. I'll have to do more episodes on that. And they have a digital sleeping pill that helps you get to sleep and tracks your sleep in metrics that I've found more effective for sleep tracking than Aura or Whoop. And of course, the core of the Muse experience is that they have an EEG neurofeedback mindfulness meditation exercise, which personally for me actually is a better training of attention through mindfulness training than doing the F nearest focus training in either the Muse Athena or the Mendy exercise. Now that's up for debate, but I think what is not up for debate is that Muse just has a lot more to offer than Mendy at this point. Not only do they have the FNIRS training, but they have all the other features that I talked about. And in addition, there are a lot of third-party apps that use Muse as well. There is the Mind Monitor program where you can record your raw brainwave patterns and do experiments with. And there's also the Mind Lift platform that I use exclusively in my coaching program to do sequential quantitative EEG measurements and neurofeedback training along with red light therapy. So if you want to spend a little extra money to get the best package for training your focus and use it at home on your own time, I would go with the Muse just because of how much it has to offer.